Type Info 7 is a series of tools designed to help public health professionals conduct research, outbreak investigations, manage surveillance databases, and perform statistical analysis. In this quick video, I am going to show you how to install and set up the mobile companion for Android. Hi, and welcome to my channel where I interact with students, residents, teachers, and scholars on the various ways in which we can improve our research using the amazing Epi Info suite of tools for electronic questionnaire design, mobile data collection, data analysis and visualization. Today, we are going to be getting ourselves ready to use the Epi Info companion for the mobile app. So I'll be showing you how to download and install the software, put up appropriate settings, restrict permissions and deploy the software and lots more. Specifically for this tutorial, we will be using the Epi Info Companion for Android. But if you're an iPhone user, no worries because you can still get this amazing application on your expensive piece of hardware. Now, in fact, the iOS version is more advanced than the Android one. So if you're an iPhone user, just click the link popping up now on the right upper hand corner of the screen and you'll be good to go. You will love this mobile software because it enables researchers, that's me and you, to create electronic questionnaire, to customize data entry processes, to enter different types of data, perform various data analysis, and even display your data on a map, all from your Android phone. Now on top of that, you can get all of this stuff completely for free. So what are we waiting for? Let's do this, shall we? First off, let's bring out our Android phones. Uh, then we quickly go to the Play Store, on the Play Store, check for Epi Info. Here we go. Now you see install, so just click on install and we'll go along with the installation process. Uh, give it some time to do its thing. Now, when the installation has finished, let's click on open. The first thing that pops up is this screen where the app is requesting for um, storage permissions, right? So here the software is requesting for permissions to be able to access and use the Android file system uh, to store forms and sync files. So these are really important files that we'll be using. So um, we'll just click on set permissions. Okay. Now let's allow Epi Info um, access to um, all of this. All right. Uh, the next thing that pops up is uh, this uh, screen where the app is requesting for uh, location permission. So here the software is requesting for permission to be able to use your device uh, built in GPS to allow you to collect graphical information. Okay, so let's uh, grant Epi Info that access. Uh, and, and you know this is because we'll be collecting location data uh, and so we can plot a nice beautiful map. Okay, so let's uh, click set permissions and then click allow while using app. Uh, the next setting that pops up is the uh, that of the camera. So uh, click set permissions. Then also allow while using the app. Now, once we are through with that, then we are good to go, okay? Now let's launch the app from the uh, beginning. Uh, look for the icon on your phone. Yes, and then launch it. Now, you'll be greeted by this beautiful CDC Epi Info splash screen, all right? And that means we're in business. Okie dokie, Adichoki. So now what we are seeing is the main menu for Epi Info. See a very, very simple menu with just three um, tabs. Uh, the first one is this powerful statistical calculator called StatCalc. And we'll be doing a full video on that, God willing, very soon, okay? So on the next tab you can see here is the collect data tab. Uh, this is where you click to start collecting data, all right? And then the last tab you can see is the analyze data tab. Uh, this is where you click if you want to do some uh, data analysis. Awesome stuff, right? Okay, so well, before we go into all of this, let's quickly set up the app. It's really important that we set up the app. So um, look at the upper right hand corner of your screen and click on the ellipsis button. That's the three dots button that is there on the upper right hand corner for us to go into settings. Uh, the first thing you see is the device ID. All right. So let's just click on it. Um, here you can change uh, the ID for this device. Uh, this is supposed to be a unique name. All right. If you like, you can leave the default or change it, but it's something that you should know. So I will change my own to a name that is very special to me. Uh, don't worry, it's not Arichoki. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, okay. 
Now, now, why is this important? This is going to be important when we start collecting data with our mobile phones, especially if we're using multiple devices to collect data, all right? Uh, so if there's any issue, we can use it to track and trace back the source of the error. We know exactly where the um, error is coming from, which mobile phone, all right? Okie dokie, adichoki. Now, next up is for us to uh, work on the layout of the questionnaire, all right? There are three formats that you can see. Uh, that enables you to use this questionnaire. The first is exactly as it appears in EPI Info. So if you want to use it exactly as it appears in the PC version, uh, then you click on this. But this is not available to all Android uh, phones. All right. The second one is uh, when the questions are arranged vertically. And that's what most people will use based on the way it comes in their tab order. And then the last one is this interview mode, which makes it to come like ODK or question by question, all right? These options are mutually exclusive, so just choose the one you like, all right? Now, not all mobile phones support the first one, like I said. So if your own does, then you can go for it, uh, all right? Next off is the record list, all right? Uh, this area wants you to specify how you want each final record to come if when you're collecting the data. Do you want it arranged normally or you want it uh, reversed? So just toggle as you please, all right? The other important setting is uh, disable back uh, button in the form, okay? So uh, some data collectors, when collecting data, can accidentally click the back button, which will take them out of the form, all right? And when this happens, you may lose um, the particular data entry records that you have already put in, so, and so it's better to leave this disabled, all right? So next off is cloud synchronization. Now, this is important if you want to store your data in the cloud, all right? But it's not compulsory, uh, as I will show you a very simple way of using Epi Info Mobile without having to store it on the cloud. But if you have a cloud service, then you are good to go. Just put in your the values, okay? So with Epi Info, you are limited with only these four um, options. So select the appropriate one, um, whichever one that you have, all right? And mind you, the box you are seeing here is not Dropbox, okay? I'm no, sorry, it's not Dropbox, okay? So now, now look closely here, please. There are three mutually exclusive options here on how you want to control the way users use the app uh, and how they send collected data. The first option here is the best option, so leave it as default. But you can decide to change it if you want. So if you are using the cloud storage uh, for your files, then you can click on the any of the other two. Uh, for now, just let's select the first one, okay? Now, um, this sync on save you see here helps you to sync uh, to the cloud when you save a record. So let's just leave it by default now. If you don't want the sample forms to be there so users would not play with it, then toggle sample forms off, all right? So you just know that users, when they come, they just go directly to the forms that you've put there, not that they have to go through the sample forms before they find your own form. Okay, okie dokie, add it, okay. Now let's leave the Windows decimal point symbol uh, the way it is and just click on uh, sync file size, okay? So the file in which we create uh, after collecting data to send to the cloud or to aggregate with other data uh, forms from other mobile devices is called a sync file, okay? So you can specify the size of the number of records each sync file contains, all right? but uh, preferably you can leave it at 100, but depending on how much you are collecting. So depending on the number of records that um, each of your data collectors assigned to collect, uh, I, I used to like to set it to 1,000, so let's do 1,000. The last thing we will do, which is super important, is to uh, set an admin password. Now, if you do so, the data collector will be unable to change any of these settings unless he or she has that password, all right? So I'll just put my password. And that's it, okie dokie, adichoki. Now let's leave uh, the settings, okay? Now, if anyone tries entering these settings again, uh, they will have to provide a password, okay? And this will avoid any unwanted access to your specifications and settings, especially when doing very serious research. You don't want the data collectors to be playing around with your data, right? Now, now, if you have been following me, you, we have now installed and set up a full version of Epi Info uh, Mobile Phone. So that means you have a very powerful app on your hands that can help you to collect data, analyze data, and even visualize maps all on your mobile phone, all right? I'm excited to see what you young researchers will do with this much power in your hands, all right? Now, please leave a comment down about how 
you intend to use this raw power that you have gained, have gained. Now, if you've gained any value in this video and you like to see more amazing content like this, hit the like button and share this video with your friends and families. Remember, sharing is caring, right? And if you are new here and you like what you've seen, uh, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified with my future videos. Check now, out this video here if you want to learn how to use Epi Info on your PC. Uh, or this other video here if you want to learn how to install and set up Epi Info for free on your PC. Now, in my next video, God willing, we will be using Epi Info Companion for mobile to collect data and then we'll do some analysis on your mobile phone, all right? But until then, peace.